first, I just want to thank everybody for coming out here today. Um, I'm going to talk about FIRST, which is a comprehensive treatment program for individuals who are experiencing their first episode of a psychotic illness within the last 18 months. So it would be on the schizophrenia spectrum disorders, which would be schizophrenia, schizoaffective disorder, psychotic disorder NOS, and schizophreniform disorder. And as Natalie said, I'm from the BEST Center, and it's best practices in schizophrenia treatment. The reasons for FIRST are that the research suggests that initiating a comprehensive team-based coordinated team treatment as soon as possible following the first episode of a psychotic illness leads to a faster, more complete recovery, a better prognosis, and the reduced likelihood of a relapse. The first team has had specialized training in the RAISE model, which is recovery after an initial schizophrenia episode, and it is a research project with the National Institute of Mental Health. And in November, we went to New York and we were trained by international and national experts in first episode psychosis. Um, the first team, we will receive ongoing um, consultation from those national experts. Eligibility criteria is that the individual must have experienced their first episode within the past 18 months. They have to be between the ages of 16 and 40. Um, the eligible diagnoses are what I mentioned earlier, schizophrenia, schizoaffective, schizophreniform disorder, and psychotic disorder, NOS. Um, the psychotic symptoms can't be caused by only a drug and alcohol diagnosis or only a medical condition, and their IQ has to be above 70. And the individual will be a part of FIRST, um, the whole FIRST treatment team, which consists of medication management, individual resiliency therapy, family psychoeducation, and supported employment and education. Um, the overarching goals of FIRST are to reduce the symptoms of a psychotic illness, to improve individual and family functioning, to reduce the chance of relapse, and to promote the recovery and improve the long-term course of the illness. So the treatment components are, like I mentioned, medication management, individual resiliency training, family psychoeducation, and then supported employment and supported education. And they're all delivered in a very integrative, team-based atmosphere. Um, Dr. Stephen Jewell from Child Guidance and Family Solutions, he is who provides the medication management. So he's meeting with the clients and prescribing the medications that are the safest and the most effective for individuals who are experiencing their first episode of a psychotic illness. The individual resiliency trainers are also through Child Guidance and Family Solutions. There are four core that everybody get, and that is the orientation to IRT, assessment and initial goal setting, the psychoeducation, and a processing the illness. So everybody gets those four core modules. And then from there, they range from how to make friends, how to deal with stress and substance abuse issues. And they're all very, they're very much individual based. So it's going to focus on what the client needs now or what that individual needs currently. And then the supported employment and the supported education piece is really important because the idea is not only to help them with rapid employment, but also to help individuals who are going off to colleges and to work with the colleges so that they're aware of some of the special needs that this population might need or some of the things that they might be going through to address these concerns. And the goal is rapid return or initiation of competitive employment or education to focus on the client's needs and preferences. So it's really not about what the treatment team thinks that the client needs. It's very much so geared towards what does this individual want and how much are they going to let us intervene with them and work with them. And then to provide it, these services can be provided at work, in the community, or at the schools. And then there's family psychoeducation that's provided, and I do the family psychoeducation piece. And it's very important early on to get family involvement, because if you get family involved early on, it substantially reduces relapse rates and it decreases family burden. Um, and the idea behind the family psychoeducation piece is it is, helps families become better at communication and solving problems, and it also educates them about the psychotic illness, so what they can expect with their family member. And it also helps them set realistic goals and know what kind of goals to expect. So if somebody is going off to school, they can work with them 
and kind of also help them and be a support. Um, the treatment team, one of the major things about the treatment team is that we meet on a weekly basis and it is very integrated so we're constantly communicating and constantly talking with the client, the family member, and other treatment providers, not only within the agency, but outside of the agency. So it's really important to do the, have continuity of care with all providers. Um, have individual supervision once a week, and again, we have the biweekly consultation calls with national experts, and really the continual flow of information and making sure that everyone is on the same page, and that not only just the treatment providers, but the client and the family member are all working towards the same goal, so that everyone is in a cohesive treatment atmosphere. Um, the first program, the services are now available in Summit County. The anticipated duration of treatment, because it is a first episode program, is um, expected to be three to five years. Transitioning out of the program would be based on client need and choices. And the treatment site is at the Child Guidance and Family Solutions Central Office, which is 312 Locust Street here in Akron. 